Reselling can be a funny thing, really. I think it can um, really mess with your head sometimes. And I'm doing a video on kind of reseller envy and not maintaining focus. Um, and I would imagine everyone's had a bit of this and how people deal with it. Probably some people deal with it better than others. Um, so recently, I suppose reseller envy can be any number of things. I mean, you could be looking on Facebook and see someone's posted a £20,000 turnover in three months and go, why aren't I there? What are they doing that I'm not doing? And all that sort of thing. Now, I did do a video a while back, which I'll put a link to, which was maybe don't worry about other people's turnover figures because you never know the true story on that. You never know how much is profit. But that's easier said than done. And I've certainly looked at people's figures and thought, God, even if it isn't profit, how on earth do they you know, like, turn over the stuff to get that amount? But what I'm going to talk about, and I've been sort of going on about it, is um, reseller envy when you see someone pick up something at a boot fair. You might just have missed out on something. And it's that, it's weird how it can really throw you off for a little bit. Now, I had an example of this. and I, um, I was just about to go home actually, but it was uh, Luke, who is a mate of mine, and he got an absolutely mind-blowing um, haul. Now, doing this, um, I've spoken to him and he sent me a photo of it. And what's great about this, it gives me a chance to show it because he's not on YouTube. So I'll, I'll take great delight in showing it to you. But when you miss out on something, generally, I, I've had it before. I had it at a previous boot fair where I got to a stall and the guy had just got a DS in front of me, Nintendo DS, and it had loads of Pokemon games, and he was buying it for 20 quid. And he did the deal. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't, but I knew he would. He knew it would happen. Can't, can't stop it. And for about the next two rows, I was going around with it in my head, thinking, you know, I was looking for a DS, which is absolutely crazy. And it's amazing how you can go from sort of like highs to lows in this and how it can really sort of affect you. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll show you my haul from um, Sunday. So it wasn't that great. And you'll see the sort of state of mind I'm in. And then I'll come back and show you Luke's haul, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and like I say, I'll talk a bit, a bit more about sort of like the, the mind games that, that your brain plays with you. So uh, anyway, here's the haul from Sunday. It's Sunday morning, six o'clock, and I am, well, I'll show you where I am. I'll flip you around. I'm parked up on a lovely roundabout in a queue, which goes behind me as well, which you probably can see. I'm waiting to get into the boot fair. And uh, yeah, let's hope it's a good one. I went to one yesterday, which is all right. I'll do all of that later today. And uh, hoping to get some goodies today. It's quite a nice day. It's not too hot, not too cold. Just about perfect. So, um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy the uh, the wildlife in the uh, central bit of the roundabout. Not that there's anything going on. But let's hope we find some goodies today. Right, I've just finished up and um, it's been one of those days. It's not been a great day, really. Um, I might as well show you what I've got as I'm putting it in the boot. Um, drips and drabs, but I'm at the moment I'm suffering suffering from reseller envy I've got a bad case of the jealousies um, Luke who I often see at boot fairs got a complete score a he got, well he got two scores actually um, he got the first one and then went back for second helpings and got an absolutely blinding score which I will tell you all about as I'm crying with jealousy but well done on him. He goes to every single boot fair and he's always very helpful. He was helping me out with some lens, uh, Canon lenses, one of which I bought. It's about the only good thing I bought, actually. So um, he thoroughly deserves it. Um, I'll try and remember what he got and tell you because it's a lot better than the stuff I got. But I'm going to flip around now and um, tell you what I've got, show you. It won't take long, I'll tell you. Right then, here we go. Oh, well, not only... Oh, well, I'll tell you about my trolley in a minute. But Mr and Mrs Board Game, it is sealed. It was £3. The Dalek, which is knackered, but I only bought it, I've, I've bought it for these, because you can sell these. These are always missing, and the fact that it had both of them, I thought, well, we'll go for that. 
So I'll probably rip those off and either chuck the Dalek or sell it for parts. It did have this as well, which, which might be good. I can test whether it's working. So, you know, might sell that if I can find an aerial for it and, and the lights. Um, the whole thing cost a quid, so not too bad, really. I think these will go for about 15, actually. If, maybe for the pair, I'm not too sure. Um, I've got two Lego heads with lids. They were 350 each. Um, I got a clone trooper helmet, talking helmet. That was 350. Um, a wrestling belt, which I kind of get sick of buying, but it's in good condition. It was 50p. This is the Canon lens. They weren't coming down on price. Um, sold to about 50 quid, so kind of just about worth it. It had both caps, and like I say, Luke helped me out with that. So thank you, Luke. Uh, that was 20. Um, that was three quid and i don't think you can sell these on ebay but they they do cost a lot new um so i thought i'd give that a go i've got a couple of these we draw things you know i know they're not worth money but i have got the we draw i bought the we draw unit um so i want to test that out so it's really for testing and then this is, shows me getting desperate here i've got some vhs tapes but I do know I've had I've had these three before and they have sold for goodish money because they're like I think they're the original cut um, I will have to check it out because it's a long time ago I sold them but yeah I've got a feeling they might those three might be worth a bit of money I hope the tapes in I didn't check we, we will see um, all of these tapes cost a fiver because I'm hoping the, the some of these band ones, Led Zeppelin, Hendrix, Who and Queen, they might have some sort of like, you know, people who like that sort of thing. We'll go for it. Um, and I had a trolley disaster as well. Let me show you that. Did also buy this booster seat, but that is for us. And the trolley disaster is this wheel keeps falling off. I almost lost it. It fell off. As I was going in, and the guys told me about it, and then I lost it. I'd suddenly looked down when I was halfway around the boot fair, and I was like peg leg. So I'm going to have to um, either put some tape on. It keeps slipping off this bit here. It does need a bit of TLC. This trolley. I was going to do it before the boot season started, but I didn't get around to it. All these wheels need replacing. You can buy the wheels on eBay. So I need a new set of wheels, and I need to sort this out. It just keeps slipping off. So yeah, got to do that, otherwise I'm going to be going around with three wheels on my trolley. I don't want to have to buy a new trolley because they're quite expensive and uh, this one served me well. But anyway, um, I'm going to get home, have a cup of tea and I will tell you, let me, f yeah, when I get home I will try and, I know it's not quite the same, but I'll try and remember Luke's absolute score that he got. Um, if you're into gaming, um, yeah, I was going to actually, f I was thinking of filming it, but I think that would have been a bit intrusive. But um, I'll try and remember what he got and um, let you know why I'm completely jealous. So you can see they're not the best of boot fairs really. Um, just a few little dribs and drabs. I mean nothing to sort of really moan about but no real gems there. And I think I was a bit tired. I've been a, you know, I've been doing three, four boot fairs um, every week. And um, I, I was tempted to stay in bed. And then on my way out, um, Luke, he was beaming from like ear to ear going you never believe what I got I thought, oh, what can it be and he just had a small little bag and it's the second time I've seen him first time he showed me loads of DS games which was a nice score but this was just mind-blowing let me show you what it is here we go so first off he showed me everything on the outside and there's loads of Mario in there, Sonic, um, Marvel games, lo loads and loads of Mario. And we'll do some close-ups in a minute so you can see it. And he got all that for £30. Which you kind of think, hey, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. Um, and then, I'm glad he did it when I was going home, he showed me this middle section. And let me just see if I can zoom in on some of this. So... Here we go. Here's some of the Mario, some of the DS, 3DS games. Look at that, 3DS games. I didn't realise that. Super Smash Bros. More Mario, just normal DS. Super Mario 2. But the middle bit, 
here we go like your pokemon 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 and i was pulling these games out of the bag and i was going there's not a single duff game in here there's no brain training or anything so dump dump pokemon pokemon like like five pokemons i mean i don't know what they're worth but they're worth a lot of money and i you know any marios i get that's like 15 quids some gba games good selection and look a lovely vintage genuine pokemon game boy color yeah batteries in it worked because he said i don't know if it works and i flicked it on i said yeah, it does <laughs> it's working all right and this little one which is um like a game boy a mini I've, I've never had one but apparently that's worth quite a bit of money too and just a normal game boy color so how much did it all cost have we got any other close-ups so <laughs> this is this is strange it's a strange feeling of i'm absolutely delighted for him but i wish i'd found it you know <laughs> wish it had been me and i think that's only human it's only a human sort of like reaction but i've got to say if i didn't get it i'm really glad he got it and i'm glad he showed me at the end of the boot fair because if he'd have got this at the start my head would have been all over the place for the rest of the boot fair i don't even think i would have got the rubbish that i picked up so you know when you miss out on stuff it's obviously gonna you know batter your head around a bit but you've got to get back on because it's gone it is gone you know there's no point dwelling on it but that's so difficult to do so just to tell you how much all this costs all the stuff around the edge cost him 30 of your english pounds which is all right. I don't know how many games are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, about 24, 25 games. So just over a pound a game, which is all right. But the middle section, 25 quid. Absolutely unbelievable. An amazing score. It gives me hope that it's still out there. You know, it's... Um, you kind of think that stuff isn't out in the world anymore. But it is, and it you can find it and what you mustn't forget and what what i mustn't forget is sometimes it's me sometimes i get the score and other people don't and i think it's down to how much you're going out how much you're trying i mean if you're going to one boot fair every week and you're only staying there for half an hour you haven't got a chance but if you're going to four boot fairs and this is the thing with luke he goes to every single boot fair um he's built contacts He's got great contacts, which, you know, sort him out some stuff. Um, he's got knowledge, and I've got a little bit of knowledge, and we've all got a little bit of knowledge. So all of that comes into play. Um, and there's also, obviously, a little bit of luck being in the right place at the right time. But um, you can't pick up everything. Um, you just got to be glad that you do get stuff when you can. And if you see someone with, you know, a score like that, it's their turn you know it's um you don't beat yourself don't beat yourself up the fact about the fact that you didn't get it you know and and don't let it affect you because it really it probably can i mean it is a weird thing reselling one minute you can be like my sales are great and then something can happen you might have a really bad boot fare or you might have a return on an item and you can be in the depths i mean if you think you, your sales graph is up and down you know you you kind of um what do you call it your morale your 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 endorphins are up and down like anything on um you know working on ebay so it's good to try and keep that on track it's not easily done it's definitely not easily done but i'm i am delighted for luke on that one and um like i say it just gives me hope that one day that will be me <laughs> it could be me who knows um well i hope you enjoyed that do let me know what kind of things you've had where you've sort of missed out and thought i wish that had been me let me know in the comments um if you enjoyed that i mean i was just so pleased that luke sent me that and i could show it for him because it's just such a fabulous fabulous haul um well, i was all right but not as good as that one so if you enjoyed that let us know let us know your comments on the haul i hope you all had a haul like that at your last boot fair or you get one at the next one um, but for now, take care and I'll see you soon.